Learn and play online. Let's learn amazing facts about spiders. Question one: True or false? Spiders are insects. False. People often mistake spiders as insects, but they are actually classified as arachnids. There are several differences between insects and arachnids, which we will explore. The first difference is that insects have six legs and spiders have eight. Question two: How many body parts do spiders have? Two. Unlike insects that have three body parts, spiders only have two main body parts. The head and the thorax for spiders are combined, and this part of the body is called the cephalothorax. The cephalothorax is where you will find smaller body parts like the eyes, mouth parts, the eight walking legs, the jaw, and the venom glands, just to name a few. The other body part of a spider is the abdomen. The abdomen contains the delicate organs inside, such as the silk glands that produce the liquid protein that makes the silk for spiders to make their webs with, as well as the heart, reproductive organs, and the spinnerets. Question three: What kind of eyes do spiders have? Simple eyes. Here is another clear difference between spiders and insects. Spiders have simple eyes, whereas insects have compound eyes. Insects have thousands of lenses which make up their compound eyes, making them able to have a large range of vision. Can't imagine what that would be like? Try putting a bunch of straws together and looking through. Each straw would have its own view, and that's a small sample of what it would be like if you had the vision of an insect. Spiders, however, have simple eyes, just like you and I. Spiders usually have eight simple eyes, but some species may only have six or even fewer. Also, depending on the species, some spiders have good vision while others have poor eyesight. Question four: How many known species of spiders are there in the world? Over forty-five thousand. There are over 45,000 known species of spiders throughout the world, and they are so diverse that they can be found in all kinds of habitats, including deserts and rainforests. Many spiders find sanctuary in cold, dark, and undisturbed places in and around your home as well. The few places in the world where spiders cannot be found include polar regions, atop tall mountains where there are extreme altitudes, and the world's oceans. However, some species have adapted and are able to live near or on shorelines of the oceans. Question five: True or false? Spider silk is stronger than threads of steel of the same thickness. True. Don't underestimate the power and strength of spider silk. If you compare the same thickness of spider silk to a thread of steel, spider silk is actually five times stronger. It is so strong that some have suggested a plane could be stopped by a single pencil-width strand of spider silk. But of course, spiders use their silk to make beautifully crafted webs to catch and wrap their prey in, storing the feed for later for when they may get hungry. They also use their silk to safeguard their eggs and build nursery webs to keep their baby spiderlings protected. Question six: What is the fear of spiders called? Arachnophobia. Arachnophobia is the extreme fear of spiders, and it is estimated to affect around six percent of the general population. Spiders have a scary reputation, and understandably so, as some are considered dangerous species that can cause intense pain from their venomous poison. Some even causing death. However, due to advanced research and access to antivenom, fatalities from spider bites are a rare occurrence in this modern age. Some spiders that are considered dangerous include the black widow spiders, who are the cousins of the red-back spiders, funnel-web spiders, and wolf spiders. Although they have a frightening reputation, most common household spiders that we would have encounters with are harmless. Spider bites usually only happen when they feel frightened or threatened, and in most cases, their fangs are not strong enough to break human skin. But the best thing for you to do when you see a spider next time, though, is to just leave it alone. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.